Good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're doing fabulous, Sagittarius. Let's call on the infinite energy oracles. Sagittarius, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to you new subscribers. It's always a pleasure, Sagittarius. Sacrifice. Never sacrifice who you are because of someone else. If someone else has a problem with it, that's their problem, Sagittarius. Jupiter. <laughs> you know, this is a sign of good fortune, good luck. Formal learning in a walk. Informal learning. It's like formal and informal learning. Sagittarius, it's like someone wanted you to sacrifice who you were or give up something that was destined for you. And it's like someone wanted you to sacrifice your beliefs or sacrifice who you were or make all the sacrifices, Sagittarius. And I think that this made you angry, Sagittarius. And I think someone's angry at you for not putting up with them, for sacrificing them, Sagittarius. But it's like, they might be angry, Sagittarius, but it's almost like this person wanted you to do all the sacrificing. Uh, you give up your time, your energy, your resources, your love. And what did they give you back? So now they're angry that you have expanded. They're angry that you have got this good luck, this good fortune. So this is midlife. I mean, you had to evaluate. Um, maybe they were in a midlife crisis, Sagittarius. I don't know. But when you get to that point of your life where you have to sit and weigh out, well... Do I want to sacrifice the remainder of my life? I've already spent so much time. I've already spent so much energy on a situation. Do I want to give up the remainder of the life that I have left for a dry desert? You know, when you reach that point of your life where you start weighing things out and you go, you know, I've worked so hard to achieve a certain goal or I've spent so many years um, sacrificing for others. Well, what do I want to spend the rest of my life doing? Do I want to sacrifice, keep sacrificing my energy, my time, my efforts for a dry desert? So, whatever. This person was keeping you suspended. They were keeping you in a state of inertia. You know what I mean? Like, indecisive, can't make up my mind, uh, indecision. It was holding up your progress, holding up your learning, holding up your life. And this is something that this person didn't realize. And I think you got angry at them, Saj. And I don't blame you. It's like, yeah, they needed to grow up. This person is like, I don't want to grow up. I'm tired of ad adulting. And maybe this is like, uh, Sag, you read a, reach a point in your life where you're tired of 
parenting and you're tired of adulting and you're tired of sacrificing for others when obviously they are in a state of inertia when it comes to um, you, your wants, your dreams, your goals. This person I think they went through a midlife crisis. I do. They reached a point in their life where they didn't want to grow up. They wanted to be childlike. They wanted to be like immature, keep you in a state of inertia. It's like you having to do all the sacrificing and Sagittarius Jupiter forces change. Jupiter forces us to learn uh, progress. I mean, keep up with the times. And it's almost like Sag, this is like forcing you into making changes that are good for you in your life. You reach the point in your life where you say, I've spent enough years and enough time helping others, um, taking the responsibility of others on, and now it's time for me to do what I want to do, be who I want to be. We have Neptune here. Yeah, I want to bring all my dreams into reality. I mean, I'm very positive here. This is positivity. I'm very positive that I can fulfill my dreams. I'm really positive that I've got to get out of this state of inertia, this stuck energy. I want to fulfill my dreams in my life. Whether that makes anybody angry or not. It's like I have to do me now. I've got to do what is right for me. I've got to do... This person didn't want to grow up, but they're being forced. Jupiter is karma. They are forced into adulthood so whatever this person's doing this person sort of wanted a free-for-all and now they got more responsibilities and adulting than they did when you know than they did when they were younger so i don't know what kind of situation your person got into but they're have it's forcing them to grow up so they reached a point in their life where they figured, you know, they could do whatever they wanted, but now they've got more responsibilities than they did in the first half of their life. Put it to you that way. This person figured they had the world by the tail. Uh, they could do whatever they want, keep you in a state of inertia, um, And now it's like they're overwhelmed. This is a state of overwhelmingness. So whatever situation they got themselves into, they have more responsibilities now than what they did in the first half of their life. This person might have reached midlife and got involved with something or someone where now they've got people nagging at them, responsibilities. It's like this person feels like if they got a jackhammer going on in their head. So they're angry at the situation that they got themselves into. They might have reached a plateau in their life where 
they could have been on easy street or enjoyed the fruits of their labors and now they've got more responsibilities than they ever did before so that's why they're angry this is their own karma this is their own doing they can't progress they can't do the things that they wanted to do in their life because they've taken on all this responsibilities more than they would had they just stuck to their life plan you've embraced your power <clears throat> And you've accepted your disappointments gracefully. And it's pissing them off. You had to take your power back from this person. Because they were keeping you in a state of inertia. No progress. Not moving forward. Just staying stuck. And it, although whatever they did has been a disappointment. You've accepted it gracefully. Necessary sacrifices. Retreat. Look forward and express your joy. So you're looking forward, Saj. This person had to sacrifice. Okay? It's all about sacrifice. What you're willing to and not willing to give up. You are positive. You're looking forward to your future. Um... And they're sitting here, you've, now they're sacrificing. They're being forced to retreat from your life because now they're put in a position of where they, they're being forced to grow the hell up. And you're sitting here going with the flow. You're living your soul dream not a role you play. So you're not into this, you know, you're fulfilling what your soul has told you to do. Not living as playing some kind of role. You've said no to this person and you're learning to laugh at your demons, your fears, your insecurities. You're like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm saying no. I'm not willing to sacrifice my life for you anymore. Keeping me stale, keeping me stagnant, keeping me from fulfilling what I know in my soul I got to do. Okay? And that's why they're angry. Because you've said no to whatever they wanted you to sacrifice. And it's like if it's not going anywhere, what choice do you have? Staying stuck or living your soul, what your soul is telling you to do. Your soul was telling you to say no to this person. Your soul was telling you, like, I want to laugh. I want to challenge myself. I'm going to laugh at my fears, laugh at my insecurities, laugh at my demons. I'm going to just do what I want to do now. They can do it with you. They had the choice. Yeah. Nurture yourself first. You've raised your vibrations. You're not trying to judge this person or anything, Sag, but you're focused in on success. A Sagittarius cannot stay stagnant. They got to be doing something. They've got to be working for a goal, a purpose, what their soul tells them to do. This person was content, you sacrificing your life. Honestly, they were. And you knew. Be decisive. Okay, just give me an answer. What do you want to do? Whoa, where do you want this to progress? Be decisive about what you're going to do. It's either this or that. I'm not making any judgments here, Sag is going. I'm not trying to judge you for the decisions you make in your life, but you want to clue me in on what they are. So, 
higher reason. I've got a higher calling here. And maybe this is this person's addiction that they needed to address. You know? Maybe they overdid it. Maybe they got an addiction to codependency, an addiction to drugs, an addiction to sex, an addiction to alcohol. I don't know what their problem is, but all things in moderation. And admit your vulnerabilities. Love yourself. Face your demons. Claim your art. You are a work of art, Sagittarius. And that's like letting the picture paint itself. Uh, Sagittarius is like, no, I'm going to fulfill my life's purpose. I'm going to listen to my soul. I want to be successful in whatever I do, whoever I'm with. And I want someone who's decisive in my life, who, who wants whatever they want. And Sag is like, I'm not judging you here. I'm not judging you. But I need you to be decisive. What do you want out of your life? And this person's humming and on. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And you even gave this person time to think it through. Well, you think about it and let me know. But be decisive about what you want. So I'm sensing a strong sense of humming and hawing, being wish-washy, state of inertia, uncertainty, blah, blah, blah. It's just not, you know, yeah, reevaluate your priorities. So for the two of you, it's like, what do you want out of life? Where do you want to be in five years? What do you want your life to look like in 10 years? You know? And this person is sitting stagnant and keeping you stagnant because they can't prioritize. Because maybe everything and everyone else was a priority over the relationship. And you decided I'm going to shine my light. I'm going to claim my what is good for my soul. You've grieved your losses, Sag. They have got to grieve theirs. Reflect on your truth. Be open to love. And go for your dreams. Why is this person so angry? Why is this person so darn angry? Because you spoke your truth. It's like be decisive. This is someone who is decisive, who knows what they want out of their life. You spoke your truth. You, you're like, I told you, this person is overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. And it's like, are we a team? Or am I on my own here? This was weighing heavy on your soul, Sagittarius. And I mean, you're open here, Satch, okay? Open to working as a team, open to communication, open to working on things. But you're a leader, Sagittarius, and I think this person's pissed off because you took your power back. That's what I think. And they kept you waiting, and kept you waiting, and kept you waiting. And it's like repeating a cycle over and over again. Sagittarius, look. You want success. You wanted a victory. 
and you are the strong leader. You're very intuitive, you're very open to love, you're very open to communication and willing to work on things, willing to be open here. But you will at the same time got to honor yourself. This is self-respect. This person just kept holding off and holding off, keeping you waiting. You know what I mean? Closed off. Maybe it's because of finances. Maybe it's because of legal issues. Whatever this person did, it's like... Look. This is victory. This is success, Sagittarius. This is a, a new uh, beginning. This is a gift from the universe. A golden opportunity, Sagittarius. And they're too chicken shit. I'm sorry. They were keeping you in a state of mental entrapment and that is not a good place and i think this person's angry because whatever they went to they've gotten themselves into adulting this is a sense of being overwhelmed this is a sense of a lot of responsibilities a lot of obligations they got they're angry because they feel trapped now in wherever they went maybe it's legal situations maybe it was a marriage maybe it's whatever okay they're pinching pennies here and it's like i don't know this person was working hot like i said this person was working toward retirement say or, or has put in a lot of service to work Okay, they acquired a lot of money along their lifetime. And whatever situation that they have found themselves in, they're spending all this money, their penny pinch and pennies here. And they were working toward a goal. They were working toward, say, retirement. They were looking forward to retiring. And now I don't think this person can. Yeah, because they did something risky. You know, they... That's the true spirit saying. Their whole life is a disaster here, Sagittarius. Uh, if they got married in secret, or they didn't tell you about something they took a risk and now it's like they're in poverty they're worried about going broke so this is a person who worked hard their whole life okay this for whoever i'm reading for they've worked hard their whole life they are not a lazy person they've worked incredibly hard their whole life and now they are adulting they've taken on responsibilities maybe a marriage maybe a house maybe a mortgage payment this is child support if there's a child involved they took a huge risk and they sacrificed this relationship for other priorities and now it's looking like that's why they're angry This is their karma. Jupiter forcing them to make a decision. Either it's your partnership or it's all this. What you got going on. And look. Sagittarius. Look. Abundant. 
being blessed with success, a victory. So now they had a choice between this relationship and working on this relationship, which would have led them into a victory. You would have led this person into a victory. They would have accomplished their goals with you. They would have reached their retirement and been able to live very comfortably. The two of you would have been able to reach this point of financial stability where pretty much they could have been on easy street or a lot more comfortable than where they're at. So that's why they're so angry. If they had made this offer to Sag, they would have been on easy street. But they made a decision to give this offer to somebody else. Which is leading them to heartbreak. So they proposed to someone else. They proposed maybe marriage, proposed some kind of, I don't know, maybe they are got divorced and they've got all these obligations, legal obligations, whatever they're doing. And they're depressed. And their feelings are hurt now. They got themselves hurt. Because they were giving to two. I'm sorry, Saj, they were. Either they were manipulating you or they're being manipulated. They're reaping what they've sown and they are sitting here at this hatred, hating this third party situation. They hate it. They hate what they see. They're, they're like being emotionally and mentally tortured here, Saj. So they are getting their karma. And that is their karma. They got themselves into a situation of marriage or commitments and responsibilities just at the brink of their life when they were about to live on easy street. When this person was with you, they were financially comfortable. They were planning on retiring or planning on, you know, living the dream, the proverbial dream. I, I won't have to work as hard. I'll have enough money in the bank to retire or to take care of my own household. But they weren't counting on taking care of all this. No, they weren't. That's why they're angry. They got themselves into a family situation. And now they, this is priorities. <laughs> Friends, family, everybody else, obligations, obligations to exes and maybe child support and whatever situation that they got themselves involved in, Sagittarius, they're not liking it. Their head hurts. And this person could have been in a midlife crisis. Been out there looking for young things and wild flings. But they've taken on more, res now they got an adulthood. It's like they're starting their life all over again. It's like they got to start from scratch again. Everything that they may have already raised a family. This is a person who may have already been there, done it. Already had the marriage, had the children, raised their children, and now they're starting all over again from the bottom up. This person ain't retiring.
juggling. So they figured they could go out and have a, you know, I don't know, Saj, like I said, this person had a comfortable life, same as you did, Sagittarius. Look at you, the nine and the ace of pentacles, that's ten pentacles. That's why they feel this. <laughs> they feel betrayed. They feel they feel betrayed. It's like this person feels like they committed suicide, but they didn't. But they feel that way. It's like they betrayed their dream. They betrayed you. They betrayed this person felt obligated. Obligated to friends, the community, family, whoever they went to. It's like this person is overwhelmed. A very painful outcome. A very painful ending. For what? A one night stand or a fling? You walked away, Satch. And that's what they walked into. So, you know, that's why they're sitting in the Five of Cups. And they're bored and they're frustrated. Oh my God. So they may have gotten something they didn't want. Could be a child. Starting all over again. For some of you, this person went out midlife crisis and had a child. Now they're starting all over again. They're going to have at least 10, 20 years of child support to make their not retiring Sagittarius. They were sneaking around and they may have had a one night stand with somebody or a fling with somebody and now there's a child involved. This person's already raised a family. The person I'm reading for has already raised children, has already raised a family, and now they're doing it all over again. Thought this was wish fulfillment, having options. You know, got somebody pregnant. I'm sorry, they did. The decision that they made, maybe they were like doing something foolish, they were drinking, uh, they got an addiction, maybe it's alcohol. And they do stupid stuff when they drink. It's like... Yeah. They ended things with you for this other lover. And now they're stuck. Inertia. This person did not want to be stuck. They were trying to avoid getting stuck with this situation. This is somewhere where they did not want to be. This is something they did not wish for. This is something that they did not, they were trying to avoid. This was not 
their wish fulfillment. They were out playing around, okay? And they got themselves stuck in a nightmare, <laughs> which they tried to avoid. So this was not welcome news. This was not something that they thought would be a good thing for their life. It's a nightmare. This is something they were praying to God would not happen. my god they feel chained like the ball and chain that's their addiction could be sex you know a sexual addiction or someone the ball and chain is here they feel like their life is over mm -hmm. they're starting all over again they're like, oh my God, the ball and chain, the ball and chain. This is what I did not want to have happened. I sold my soul. That's how they feel. They sold their soul by their own actions. And they have some addiction here, man. And that's why they're angry. This is something they did not want in their life. This is something that was not wish fulfillment. This is something that they're angry about and frustrated about. This is something they did not want to have happen. They did not want children. They might be old, raising young ones again. This is their worst nightmare. Now, I'm not saying children aren't a blessing, but this person did not want children. And now they have them. And now they're starting their life all over again from the bottom up. This person is midlife. This is someone over half their life, okay? So they may have gray hair. They might be older. This is someone who is old, older, starting raising wee ones all over again. This is something they did not want to have happen. <laughs> That's why they're angry. This person will not be retiring. They could be working till they're 90 years old, 80 years old. I don't know how old your person is. Some of these people are already in their 60s, starting a new family all over again. And it's like, there's issues with co-parenting, issues with their current family and a new family, issues with, Cuckoo, they're going crazy. They're in a nightmare. That's why they're angry. 